Xbox fly? I've got a cool angle on it. Let me run around here. Look at that. That's cool. I don't think it's going to stay there. Oh, Adam's here, by the way. So anyone that's new to my channel that doesn't watch my other channel, Adam's my apprentice and he's T-boy today. <laughs> um, my video should have gone up already of smelting copper into copper bars, which are these, copper ingots. Um, so I've had a bit of a play. This is the same day I did that video this morning, but my whole plan today is I've set the camera down. So I spoke to my brother, thank you very much, Oliver, Ollie, whatever. I got him to 3D print me some moulds. So he's put some finger holes in the back, excuse me, with my logo. So what I'm going to attempt today, this is first time ever on camera, and you can see that the sand is still packaged up. So this is meant to be green sand, I bought this from Amazon, I've done a lot, quite a bit of research, watching videos on YouTube from other guys, um, how to cast. So normally, it's a really dodgy, mold that I just made. So what I'm going to do is break this up. This contains, I think, some oil, <coughs> which helps it not burn and stick together. You can press this in. My plan is, normally you stick talcum powder and you do it across the top of the open mold, but I'm going to try, try, put the sand in, and then we'll hammer down the moulds into it, use the finger uh, holes to pull it back out. I'm going to try and do two at a time. So this one is a uh, raised logo. This one is a sunk logo, and then this one, which I don't think is going to work, is a sunk logo, but it's got my writing on as well. But there's quite a lot of detail there to, to mould. So I'm going to get the sand out, we're going to compact it in here. Right, so I'm going to attempt to whack it down and cut off a bit of wood. I've got the hammer here. So we'll whack the sand down, but obviously we want to leave it loose to start with. I won't, well, depending on how much sand there is, we will. Uh, open it all up, we need to break it apart because this has got holes in it, it has got a bit of plywood in. So let's just open this up and see, it said on the instructions that you've got to, uh, well, it comes as a block and you've just got to break it apart really. So I'm hoping it's, it's as easy as that really. You scrape away the burnt stuff but you can keep reusing it. All right, so it's quite tacky. All right, let me break this apart, two seconds. Jesus! Like that is... It's that gone off Play-Doh, isn't it? That. Yeah, almost, yeah. Let's see from that, I mean... Right, so figuring out with this, if you heat it up a bit with a blowtorch, this is actually clay-ish stuff. It's obviously sand, but mixed with oils and everything, like I said earlier, but... If you heat it up a bit with a blowtorch. It does crumble a bit, but it's a bit faffy. It's going to take quite a while. Um, I will put in the description, I mean, I'd like to know if anyone that you guys have watched this, are you subscribed mainly to this channel? Did you find me through this channel? Did you find me from my main channel and jumped across? I know most of you jumped across from my main channel, but it'd be interesting for me to find out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to take ages with this. Let me get this done and then we can jump to putting the moulds in. And then I'll tip the rest of that into there. God, I hope this works. <laughs> well, at least you're showing that. It's like. definitely a try. Yeah. You're meant to have talcum powder, and you pour the talcum powder on the top layer, when you can press to stop the clay sticking and the sand sticking into the mould. But I don't have any. Because mm -hmm. I'm just nipped to Tesco guys see if we can get some um, talcum powder because I I, I want to do it properly and I forgot to pick some up this morning. So while he's uh, gone, I'll just run a few, few things. So that's the loose, warm clay sand that I've got. I'm going to try the internal one and then the external one as well. I've sort of made it big enough for two. Um, I run through the stuff, so we use the stripping machine, strip down all that tack cable there, which then turned into this. I've weighed these out, these are 500 gram each. Uh, there's the five kilogram uh, furnace that I've been using. We have been opening the doors, the back door, the front door, to let air ventilation through, but like I've said in my previous video, the heat dissipation of this ends about here. 
So doing it inside isn't a problem. I've seen a lot of videos of people doing it literally in garages and whatnot with very low ceilings. Um, I'm happy with this. This is nearly a nine meter ceiling above. The doors open, all that sort of stuff. We're wearing mask gloves, heat proof stuff. Health and safety is fine. We've got fire extinguisher, heat proof mask, uh, uh, heat blanket, and obviously a mask to water for quenching it as well afterwards. So that's the sort of process we're going through. At some point, I'm going to try and do the steel wired armoured as well. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a cool little thing. And to top it off as well, I actually have brought some epoxy resin to do some more videos on this channel. I'm probably going to epoxy resin the top of this table. I'm going to do test pieces first to see how it turns out. Bought some colour, colour, um, colouring for it to make the swirls and all that sort of stuff. It's just, I want to try and put as much money back into YouTube as I can. Obviously, because I'm enjoying myself to make good content for you guys. I'm not trying to copy what the people have done, but I can pick and choose from an electrician's point of view, how I would theory, th methodically do it my way from being in the trade. Um, and yeah, I just think it's really cool. So that's why. Right, so while we're in for Adam, I've obviously done a run through. I'm gonna set the furnace up. I'm gonna put a kg of copper in, which is this. We'll put that in, I'll set it up. I'll just put the camera on the side while I'm setting it up. Um, if you haven't seen how I've set it up, I'll put a link to my other channel about how I ran through the process, but very simple. Put this in, put the lid on. You've got the uh, air intake here that you slide backwards and forward to increase and decrease the flame and the temperature. Uh, we only turn the gas bottle on ever so slightly. Uh, copper takes up to, it's 1,000, it, it melts at 1,085 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Um, and uh, it takes around about 20, 25 minutes to get to melting point. Then we'll inspect it. Uh, then we set up our molds, but obviously while that's melting, I'll be setting up the, the sand mold. And once that's done, we'll tip it out and then we'll quench it and then we'll see the results. But let me get this set up, let me get the door open and I'll start the process. The cob's completely melted, I've just turned it down. Complete liquid inside. I don't know why you can see it on the camera, see if it's bubbling away. I'm still waiting for Adam to come back with the talcum powder, so I've just turned it right down to a little flame. I've prepped everything as best I can. It's just a weighing game now, so hopefully the next thing you'll see is us making the moulds up with the talcum powder and then pouring it. I'll be able to get a close up with the camera of uh, pouring it and then we'll quench it and then uh, hopefully I might have to do this like 19 times but fingers crossed beginners look we might get it first time right Adam's back got some baby powder I'm gonna heat this up first I'm gonna put some powder on these in theory but I just wanted to get a dusting on that to then put some on that right I'm gonna heat this up a little bit That one's gonna go the. Oh, hang on. Whoa! Whoa! Right. That one's gonna go there, that one's gonna go there. And then. Here we go. Don't break the marbles. See how bad this looks. Yeah. Yes. Ish. He's made it a bit more soft than yeah. Soft. Right. That was fairly tempered one. Let me uh, rejig it. Right. I'm going to try and stop being an idiot. And just do one at a time. Problem is, I asked my brother to make this a chamfered edge to get the mold out. The chamfered edge one most of the time is when you mold it the other way. So you mold onto it, turn it over, pull it out, which we might end up having to do on this. So I'm gonna give it a bit of a tap. All right. Hey, 
That's not too bad. Look at that. Yeah, it's good that. Some of the stuff's come out, but... As long as you've got the outline of the... Yeah, let me just tip this. Have you got like a funnel to it? No, it'll just pour straight in. So it's obviously going to be a shallow one, but... We've got the coppers all ready, so I'll set the cameras up and we'll try and pour this. Right, so just, just turn the gas off. You can see the molten metal. So we'll set this up here. I've got the other camera out to get the second camera angle. Yeah. Right, so try and attempt to get it out of the mould. So, oh, there we go. Should we have a look? <laughs> yeah. Which side's which? The other side. Mm, it's there. It's uh, just... <laughs> it is actually there, it's just not deep enough is it? It's not detailed enough. I might have to. Yeah, it's definitely there. I'll get it up on set on the desk and put a camera in front of it and you'll be able to see it. Right, so that obviously didn't work very well, but that's our mould. So you can see the house, so it was internal one. So it was that. Obviously, I'm nowhere near perfecting that. So what we're going to do now, instead of pressing it in, we've taken the sand out, and we take the bottom out, and then we're going to do it the way you should do, which I've seen online. We've lost a bit of sand, a bit that's burned. I just chucked it in the water, out of the way. Water, sorry, not water. Uh, in case my mum's watching. Hi, mum. So take the bottom off. We're going to retry it, the same one, uh, just hopefully better. Sorry, better. Better, in case your mum's watching. Better. Place the mould over the top like that. Then I can get a lot better compression down with the sand. And then we'll tap that up. I think there's too much towel. So once I take it out, then that's the hollow bit. So the, the, the mole needs to be in half, really. Do you know what I mean? So I'll show you, because... So in theory... Ha, <laughs> see, it's not sticking in the mould. Slide it off. Where's that piece of wood I took off? When I turn this upside down. Uh, maybe if you put something like that. Uh, no, it's just going to implant it. <laughs> oh, it's gone. But would that have worked? No, because there was too much talcum powder in there. Right, okay. Attempt number two. Oh. Right, so attempt number three. I've cut the mold in half. I'm going to retry it. <laughs> The talcum powder wasn't going in there, uh, the, the sand wasn't going in there because I put too much talcum powder in. So, let's try again. Right. 
sorry, my SD card was full. So what I've been trying to do, I've just been heating up some sand and smushing it in to see if I do the imprint I'd leave. But I sort of come to the conclusion that these channels are just too small. All the sand's getting stuck in it. I can't really get the talc in there enough. And if I do, it fills the channels up and then we don't get an imprint. So I'll give it a few more shots, but I just think for what it is, it's just not. If the, I think the channels need to be thicker, that the lightning bolt's working out brilliantly, but the small channels around the house itself isn't working. But we'll give it one more go, and, uh, and the layers are separating now anyway. From hitting it with a hammer. We'll give it one more go, and then we'll see how it turns out. All right, so I've tried to fill as many of the uh, indents as possible with talc, but not too much talc, but just enough. You can see before where I got the imprint of the lightning bolt, but the problem is it, this isn't very good. I thought the sand, this was gonna be the ideal thing to go for, but it doesn't seem to be the case. It's, it just dries too hard and I can't get it in there without really warming it up. So I might just warm a little pot up now to the side, imprint this, then put a bit of clay on top, talc the bottom up, and just hopefully try and smush it into the, the bits that I need to and then pour the rest of the sand around. Right, so it's definitely stuck to the wood. Let's see how it looks. Yes! So this is exactly what I want. It's not perfect, but that's worked. Yes! Right, let's, let's recreate that. There's still the talc in there. So, a warm bit of clay will work really well. Right, I think, I think we might, oh God, we might be onto a winner. We might be. Sorry, my phone keeps ringing. Right. Please. Right, that looks promising. I'm gonna put that piece of wood on the bottom. Right, but it stayed in place. How well can you see it on the camera? Yeah, right. Oh no! <laughs> oh, it was going so well. It, it actually stuck in here and it's lifted the clay. But other than that, that was pretty good mold. So that means we have to do it again. Right, what's that, temp four? Right, let's do a temp five. No. Right. Come on, come on. Yes! Yes! <laughs> there it is. It's not perfect, but it's the closest I've got. So let's get the furnace back on, let's get back up to temperature, and then we'll give it a pour. Right, so that's now melted again. We'll, uh, I've set the mold up, I'll put the camera side down, and we will attempt to do it again, if it works. didn't seem to work, it's loads of air bubbles in it. Oh, God's sake. Right, yeah, it's a lot harder than you think. So, uh, for some reason, anyone that does forging at home or smelting can let me know why 
This one's came out purpley. I would love to know. I realized when I poured it, the metal that I left in there cooled down and I reheated back up and I don't think it was quite up to temperature. The surface was mel uh, melted, but the stuff underneath. And that's what I came out with. Holes through the middle. You've got a slight indent of where the compression was, the, the impression was. Um, yeah, it's very difficult. I'm not sure I really like the clay, to be honest. Not that I'm using it as an excuse whatsoever. I'm a complete novice, complete beginner at this, and it's a good try. I mean, I've seen people trying to mold stuff out of sand and clay, and they try 15, 20 times. I think that's what I'll have to do at some point. But I do think that this logo is too uh, detailed, especially the one with my writing on it. Too, uh, it's just too fine, the lines are, to, to try and get it in. And I would, yeah, can't say anything. The first attempt was probably the best. You can definitely tell what that is, and it's got the shape, it's uniform to a point. Uh, I just, God knows what happened to this one. So, uh, yeah, failed attempt. Uh, sorry, it's probably not the best video in the world, but it's a learning curve, and in, I'm trying new things, and it is fun and exciting, and hot and expensive, but it's good fun. So, uh, yeah, drop a like on the video if you can, give us a follow, and uh, subscribe, even. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. I've got a few things lined up, I say the epoxy resin, and. I want to make a sword. <laughs> yes, I want to make a copper sword at some point, so stay tuned, Bob. Yeah, I'll see you soon.